getting farther into the program, about 20 to 30 minutes in, we can start looking at some single leg stuff. Remember, if you're ever gonna earn a single leg tipping component, the key for us is not to allow this hip to already be rotated out, because the goal for us is to earn symmetry and load the actual muscle tissues of the glutes and the hamstrings. So when you're creating any type of a single leg position, remember it's imperative this hip stays flat. And how you're gonna do that is I need to sit through the profiles of that set hip. When I go to engage that movement, I'm working on my shoulder blades are back, engaging my arms, foot stays turned in, and I come down as flat as possible. In this position, we're actually gonna to touch the ground, and we're gonna to try to transition off this leg and extend through. If I could try to show in my limited space here, sitting through the profiles of this, taking my time, earning that depth, staying flat, touch the ground, and then engage off this hip, and drive through. When I finish extending through the hip, I don't finish like this. And again, I'm gonna go a little faster now. So I'm earning that position, and I'm extending, I can even go up on my toe. We're gonna to do about eight of these per side. So it'll be perfect each time. We're just working on keeping those shoulder blades engaged, getting everything engaged, to get the most out of these workouts. Not just going through the motions and allowing the swing and the momentum, giving you that movement. You're in control with more control, more activation, more volume of movement, more volume of back of exercise or tension. That's just going to keep your body moving well, feeling good, and building the size you want or building that muscle activation.